And I know you remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you some Cadbury eggs? Did you remember how many eggs you bought us when when you bought us all those? Seventy something, wasn't it? It, it was it was forty nine because they were seven for a dollar. Oh, okay. And <laughs> we went to the little uh, the little uh, dollar store that that was uh, in, that's in uh, Versailles, and it was after Easter, so the candy was on sale. And, and Easter is what next month, is it? Yep, and Easter is next so. month. Yeah, because yeah. Cadbury eggs have been out for a while. Yeah. Yeah. But but you took us but you took us three kids out to go get some candy because that that's what we would go there for and you just bought us but we couldn't believe that you would buy us forty nine Cadbury eggs. Well, are you gonna get some Cadbury eggs? Uh-huh. If I get if B and them get here to get me some money because we don't keep any money here. Mm-hmm. Well. I want you to tell the story again because I like this story. I like the story of when you when you met Granddad at the party. I want you to tell me about how when you walked him back to catch a train. You know, I had it all wrote down here somewhere, and I don't know what I did with it, for it's there or not. But you kind of know the story. Yeah, that several of us walked back with him to the bus station at Spring Hill, and. Uh, we gave him a, I gave him a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you kiss him? Because I thought he was sweet. Sweet? <laughs> He's sweet. And? Lovely. And I thought, thought I'd like to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> and good looking? And, mm-hmm, just right up there like that picture. Some people say, well, I see why you liked him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. And then, uh, from then on, we wrote many of a letter. And he came back in April of 45. And we got engaged then. How many months later was that? We married in November of 54. Wow. 44. And uh, we, mar- we met in 44, uh, November of 44. He came back in April of 45, and that's when we got engaged, and then we married in uh, November of 45, 44 to 45. Okay. Was he surprised when you kissed him? I don't think so. (laughs) I think he was willing. Yeah. Hey, Granddad, were you surprised when when Lolly kissed you for the first time? When when Lolly kissed you for the first time, yeah. were you surprised? I guess. <laughs> were you happy? Did you like it? I don't know. <laughs> that's ancient history. I, that's a long time ago. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> You must have been. We kept writing. Mm-hmm. She said you must have been. You ke- you all kept writing each other. Okay. <laughs> did you all keep the love letters? I did for a long time. You did? But they all have disappeared, I think. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of things in that old cedar chest out in the room out there. That don't and know I don't what know what's in there now. I think there's a flag in there that uh, he has... I don't know where his daddy sent it, or they gave it to him when his daddy died or what. Hmm. But I think there's a flag out there. Hmm. If I'd have thought about it, I'd have told y'all you could have gone out there and looked in it. Hmm. I don't think it's got a lock. Because I don't think it's got a key to it. Hmm. Did y'all see anything of any of the neighbors while you was over there? Hmm. Of course, one in the front of us, we always let her know that y'all, somebody is coming. Okay. Oh, she, if she sees, she said she had seen a car over there before I called her, and that she wondered about, you mm-hmm. know, if it could be some of the family, and she was glad that I had called and let her know. Mm-hmm. But I always try to let her know because I don't want somebody to get over there that we don't know anything about. Sure, sure. And she is very glad. Now the one behind me, I don't call her because she's too nosy. She's the one that said, uh, 
that, uh, let me see how she put it. Somebody asked her, she went to the doctor one day, and somebody asked her, said, who brought you? She said, I drove myself, said, I've got uh, license, and I've got as much right on that road as anybody's got. I have a question for you, Grandma. Let's hear it. What do you think is your favorite food to, to, that you ever made? What What did you love baking more than anything? <laughs> is that hard? <laughs> the yellow cake and chocolate icing and the coconut cake. Those were your favorites? That was my favorites. Mm -hmm. And he would always break the coconuts and punch a hole in them, pour the milk out. Mm -hmm. And then when I would uh, fix the layers, he would uh, have the milk all poured out in a glass or something, and we'd take, uh, I think it was a, something that would spray them, not spray it, but where I could put the milk, coconut milk, in the, I think it was one of those things that you draw up to and squirt out to put this coconut around on them. Or if I didn't have that, I'd take a spoon and put it around over the layers mm -hmm. of the cake. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I did it, and then put uh, icing on it, pour that milk in, put icing on it, sprinkle Coke over it. Hmm. Hmm. Did I say Coke? Yeah, but you meant coconut. 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 <laughs> After I said that, I thought I said that. That was going to taste a little weird, huh? <laughs> Lord, uh -huh. A Faisas makes some that she puts up. Uh, let me think what I'm trying to say. Insure. Hmm. I think she puts some insure over the layers that way. Makes, to make it make more it healthy. More, yeah. I think that's what she told me one day that she makes some that way. Hmm. Interesting. Not, maybe not insure, so. Give her a call. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Mm.